I've had this Prime Weld TIG 225 for several months now and I've put quite a bit of time on it. Pulsing with the foot pedal will test out how smooth and responsive a foot pedal is. You need more amperage when you're pulsing with the pedal, but it works really good for controlling heat and getting that nice stacked dimes look. This is the second pass on some chromoly tubing. When you're welding chromoly or other alloys that are crack sensitive at all, it's good to taper off the arc nice and slow when you terminate the arc to prevent a crack. For TIG welding sanitary stainless, we're just using straight current with no pulse. You need about two-thirds of an amp per one thousandth of thickness usually for a full penetration sanitary stainless weld. Dual flow meter helps a lot because it's all about the purge. And for this one, we're walking the cup. This is my friend Andrew Carden, just doing a really nice little wiggle, keeping the arc pointed right to that seam. There's a video on hooking up a water cooler with this machine, and that's what we're using, a water cooled torch for this. Got a nice silver purge. Switching over to AC is really simple. In fact, it's really just flicking one button but then paying attention to a couple of other settings, and those are AC frequency and AC balance. I have a, a video on each on practical applications for AC balance and AC frequency. The very first video I did was setting up the machine and using the torch switch and then switching over to the foot pedal. I prefer using a foot pedal, but there are times when a torch switch comes in really handy, especially for doing a whole bunch of tack welds over a large area, not having to drag a foot pedal around. There's a separate video on how to set AC frequency and some really practical tips on that, like where to use low frequency and where to use high frequency. I set it at really low frequency and this is a good example of just wrapping the corners and building up an edge like that. I think the best example is starting off with a low frequency and then stacking beads one on top of another and seeing how a high frequency like 200 hertz can really make that bead stick and not wander off for that top bead. If you've ever wondered how to use the AC balance setting, there's a video on that. Dials it in. What, what does it look like when you don't have enough cleaning action? Well, it looks like this. Pepper in the puddle, oxides aren't being broken up, it's a dirty looking weld, and you need more cleaning action, and that's what AC balance does. This video shows you exactly that. That's a nasty bead with no cleaning action outside the toes of the weld. And this is what it should look like with that frosty area extending out a little ways beyond the weld. The whole video dials you right in on it, going to help you get the most out of any TIG welder. There's also a video of a lap joint on 8th inch aluminum using the foot pedal for pulsing. Again, you have to use more amperage when you do that. We set this one up at about 100 hertz with a number 5 cup and about 15 CFH argon. And just pulsing away, making a nice little stack of dimes doing just as good a job as welders that cost two to three times as much. This is just a little something to help you make up your mind if you're in the market for a good affordable TIG welder. You found it and you've also got a bunch of videos to show you how to use it. All right, well thanks for your support. We'll see you next time.